Hey guys, John from Shine On here, and today I am super excited for this release. This new feature is probably one of the most asked for features we've had. As people are looking to diversify where they're advertising and how they're advertising and where they're putting their products and their content, they've needed new ways to do tracking, new ways to make sure that they're getting all the data they need from these sources. So what have we done? We've just added Google Tag Manager to the platform. This is gonna allow you to add just about any pixel or any tracking that you might want to your platform pages so that you can get accurate tracking on your sales data. Now let's go ahead, let's jump straight into it and I'm gonna walk you through an example of how to add a TikTok pixel to your Google Tag Manager and add Google Tag Manager to your Shine On profile. So the first place to start with this is to actually make sure you have a Google Tag Manager account. You can go to tagmanager.google.com and you can make sure that you have an account. When you have an account, you're gonna to need to add your URLs and these are also called accounts. So you need to create your URL account. I'm gonna use liquidci.com. I've already created an account for that. What you can see is this GTM container ID. We're gonna to wanna to copy that and then we're gonna to wanna to go over to the platform. And when you get to the platform, you can see I'm under Liquid CI and I go to storefronts and you can uh, customize your storefront. I've added my Google Tag Manager code right here and hit save. A little caveat, if you are currently running Google Analytics right here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is get rid of it because what you'll wanna do is add your Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager. That way you don't have any conflicting Google codes and you'll make sure you're getting really clean data. So just remember that tip. Now once we've added that, you should hit save so that it remembers it. And then let's jump back over and look at Google Tag Manager. We're gonna be able to come in here and click into here and you'll see your workspace. Now there's a couple different ways that you can add tags. I'm gonna show you how you can add certain apps, but then I'm gonna show you a specific way to add Pixel that makes it really, really simple. You can hit new tag, and basically, if you hit tag configuration, you'll see a bunch of pre-built kind of tags that all you have to do is add bits and pieces of information, like Google Analytics. You can take your little code that you get from Google, add it into the little, uh, you'll, you'll click here, add this uh, tag type. It'll ask for a couple basic data points. Um, what you want to tag, track, um, and then what your variable is, and things of that nature. Um, advanced settings, this is where you can play with different ways you want to add it. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at uh, some of the non-Google ones that exist out there. And in order to get those, you need to hit this discover more tag types. Uh, these are community tag types. These are created by people out there. and. A couple that you'll you'll be able to see here are there's TikTok, there's Snapchat, there's Reddit, and Pinterest is actually not it's actually included in the Google ones. So if we go back to this page and scroll down, you can find Pinterest right here, and you can add them that way. But for what we're gonna do, we're not gonna add it this way, we're actually gonna add it through TikTok. So we're gonna jump over to my TikTok account here and we're gonna go to our events. Um, when you get to this, we're gonna do a website pixel and I've already got a couple pixels set up but we're gonna ignore those and what we're actually gonna do is create a new pixel. When you create it, it's gonna pop up and say, how do you wanna add it? First of all, we're gonna call this video test two and what I'm gonna do is do a, a partner platform to add the pixel make it really simple what you'll see is the first one here Google Tag Manager click that and hit next it's gonna ask you to log in to Google um, so we're gonna hit connect it's gonna ask me to log in to Google here I'm gonna click my correct Google account and then it's gonna pull in some information as you can see, it's already pulled in liquidci.com, which is one of mine. If you have multiple Google Tag Manager accounts, you'll find them under this dropdown, and then you can select different containers for them. 
because this is the one that I want. It's just my default workspace, liquidci.com. I'm going to hit next. Hit next. What it's actually going to do is go to Google Tag Manager and add your pixel to it. So what we're going to do before I verify this, I'm going to show you in Google Tag Manager. When I go over here, I need to update this page. Um, you can see it was on version 8. It's now on version 9. If I click into this latest version, you'll see this new pixel right here is the one that I just created and it has been added. So we're all set there. So let's go back over to TikTok and go to liquidci.com and click to verify. And boom, my pixel has been verified. Now what you can't see is underneath my head right here is actually a next button. So I'm gonna click the next button. What it's gonna do is say you wanna create some events. And yes, you can do click events or you can do URL based events. I'm gonna recommend the URL based because they're relatively simple to set up and they're standard, uh, at least for the platform. The first one we're gonna do is add to cart. And what we're gonna do is the URL contains cart. When we go to the cart page, it says cart. So that's all set up. Now what we also wanna add is a purchase. So place an order. And what we're gonna do is actually add two different URL variables. That way it doesn't miss something if we're doing post purchase on it. So the first one is thank underscore you. That's our thank you page. And then if they're triggered into a post purchase event, you can do post underscore purchase and that will trigger that they bought something and then the next page they went to was post purchase. Now again, you can't see underneath my head, but there is a complete setup. So we're gonna click that button and let it get set up. So now when we come here, it's got page view, which it has as a default, place an order, and then under my head is add to cart right over here. So we've got that set up. Now the last thing that we wanna do is make sure that this is actually showing up on our page. So if I come over here, this is the storefront for Liquid CI. I'm gonna just F5 it so that I get an update one. And then there's a Chrome extension called TikTok Pixel Helper. And if, I, if you add that and then you click on it, it's actually gonna pull up and say what TikTok pixels it's found. Now you can see here, it's got test one, video test, but then it's got the new one that we just created, video test two. Perfect. It's seeing our pixel, our pixel uh, exists on the page um, and it's tracking. That is what we need to do to make sure we have the TikTok pixel added. So that was a quick walkthrough on how you can add the TikTok pixel to the platform using our new Google Tag Manager integration. And there are lots of other things that you can add. I already showed you that there's a Reddit, a Snapchat, there's Google Analytics, there's Google Shopping, um, Pinterest. There's just about anything you can do and there's also a custom HTML option. So if you have a pixel from like an affiliate network or something, you can actually drop that in there. Now what it won't let you do is customize for every single page. So if you need to have a different script on the cart page than you do on the, it's not gonna quite allow for that. But well, it does if you wanna create a bunch of, uh, it's advanced. Google Tag Manager is in a very advanced system and you can do a lot of stuff with it. I'd recommend sticking to some of the easier ones, some of those pre-built tags that are ready to go and just involve adding a little bit of information. Also, like we did with TikTok, there might be a way that you can add it directly from Snapchat or Reddit or something of that nature to add it straight into Google Tag Manager. So look out for those. Otherwise, We've now allowed you to go and sell on just about any platform you want using the Shine On platform, which is a huge advantage. So get out there, get selling, and maximize your Q4 profits this year.